Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Uh oh, what is this? My fleet's not supposed to be like this. Excuse, excuse you. Oh, never mind. All right. Welcome, one and all, to this joyous, wondrous playthrough as Germany and Hoi Ford. I say joyous, I say wonderful. It's with a bit of uh, saltiness because there's little things wonderful about this. This is going to be a very painful, arduous journey through. However, we will get through it. As we can already see, that we have sustained quite a bit of damage. upon our naval front, which is completely diminished. I think we start off with like, what, 100 ships? It's not like it's dead, but to say in the least, we can check exactly what we have been exchanging. Current. Okay, so this current year, the year that the war has started, we have lost 15 convoys, 10 submarines, and 1 light hull. It's not too bad, it's not too terrible, considering the fact that it probably wasn't that advanced of what we lost. These submarines, though, we can't, con we can't continue to lose these... I think most of the ones that we lost, though, were old submarines, so it should be fine. I can confirm this by looking through and seeing which ones are which. I know last time we were definitely losing advanced submarines, but... Okay, I think we were losing some of the more advanced submarines as well. However, we're not losing them at the same rate as the other ones. So, let's see. You have three traits ready. Heck, yes. I don't know which one is really better. They're mutually exclusive, so torpedo reveal chance or torpedo screen protection. Or penetration. I guess penetration is better. From what I know, penetration is better for when you're going up against somebody with a large navy, which the UK have, and large naval capacity, to be able to defend their waters. So if they're going to be defending their waters very well, that means they're going to have a lot of screens. So you're going to want to penetrate through those screens, which is what this ability allows you to do. You get to penetrate through those screens and hit harder because torpedoes do a lot more than uh, normal guns, so hitting them with your torpedoes will always, always, always cause a lot of damage. The reveal chance helps prevent um, ships from like angling against it. I don't know exactly what that does either, but I know this is really good if you just want to... Um, if you don't have an overwhelming enemy, basically. So I'll do Lancer, because that's the penetration. And then Torpedo Cooldown, which will make that commander a bit overpowered for torpedoes and submarines. As far as the submarines will be able to be machine gunning their torpedoes, basically. And their torpedoes will work effectively. We don't have, I don't think we have any production. Yeah, we're going to have to increase this to like eight. We're going to have to kill all the naval production for real quick. Let's just look at that real quick. What is that looking like? All right. 
Let's just leave it like this, because I know five are going to be needed at all times. That's not going to kill anything, really. Okay. Um, perhaps we could do something like this, because we don't need that many to replace it. We just need enough to where we're overproducing a bunch of submarines. Why do you want to overproduce submarines? Because I think I've produced... 10 submarines, and we're basically barely just replacing the losses that we already have. Barely. Let's look at the air war, because I can't imagine that being too pleasant right now. So, from what I remember, they can only really be active in, like, four different regions, and we're going to have to battle... What are you doing? Okay, you're you're barely helping out with this, but you're helping. Medium airframe. These are not. No, these are not. Never mind. Okay, interwar small. These are all aircraft as well. Nice aircraft. I'm so speaking. It says five. I only see four. We'll have to see. Oh, it's including. Okay. Interwar close air support and these we have enough for one more wing of close air support We should have all of them being grounded right now Actually as a matter of fact, I never I never named these And I can't spell welcome welcome to the channel. I cannot spell Fighter wings. No, not fighter wings. Why would I? Okay, anyways. Fighter air group. They should really actually add in a general or something for each of these air groups. And then um, some type of thing just like this, but for the air wings themselves. Because the Luftwaffe, from what I understand, the Luftwaffe. And maybe maybe the Royal Air Force had something similar that um, everybody does have in the modern day right now as far as the Luftwaffe and the uh, Royal Air Force having the ability to having generals and officers in charge of air wings and different air wings. So these guys are really outdated. Oh my goodness, they are really outdated. Oof. Okay, that's fine. That is not fine, but we will pretend that is fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, where is my... What are you guys? Naval bombers. Why are you guys... Oh, you're a different type of naval bomber entirely. You're not even in anything, are you? You should be with our other naval bombers. There you go. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to move you guys closer and all together. Just like that. There you go. Um... I would name it Wing, but, um, what are these? Okay. Were the paratroopers part of the Luftwaffe? I don't know. Paradrop. Right now it's going to be an air wing, but I do want to make this like have its own um have its own stuff. It's Cass. It'll, it'll be like our little special forces wing or air group. 
But right now, that's not going to be a thing for a while, from what I understand. <sighs> okay. So right here, we have our... I don't know why I'm doing this so weirdly. So what you have to do to rename these, they don't really do anything if you rename it, but it makes you feel better. You just have to click on this little black bar here with your left mouse button. For those of you that might have difficulty, because I know when I first played Victoria 2, different games, same franchise, same people that made this game, I had trouble clicking and finding out what to do. So you just click on it and you start typing. Um, be careful, it's a little wonky with how it deletes and rewrites stuff. Tactical air group, tactical bombing air group. I just want. What do I need from all these people right now? All these guys here. Do I need you close to the front? Not really. I don't even know if I need you doing anything right now. You can all do that. I don't know what I want y'all doing. Um. Can you guys even use this one? Medium airframe C. Medium airframe B. Medium airframe B. Medium airframe B. They can't even use this airframe. So I have to make a whole new wing. And it's going to be in this one. Halatama. Okay. And you will be training. Remember, shift click. Shift left click, I should say. And you can do the special little thing that makes it click on this. Okay, so holding sh shift and click to enable pilot exercises w until air wing is fully trained. Now it says fully trained. What that means is it will just train it to level 3, which is also known as regular, instead of trying to continuously train it and run it dead. Because it will just continuously train if you don't click that. If you don't hold shift, um, and it will try to basically get to seasoned, but your planes can't. It think it like gives you point zero one. You you will never reach it. It you you'll just have more pilots dying than you will be able to actually reach that um experience level. So you're basically just wasting planes, manpower, production. It's it's just not good. I don't know why they have it set up like that, but but. You can avoid it by holding shift when you click. These two I will just simply have train. I'm going to tell you guys to stand down. There's no reason to have you guys doing anything because you can't even really bomb. You can bomb ships in the area. Hmm. Do I want them bombing ships in area? I most certainly do. I will have them using this one. Cas a group. This is a cas a group. A group in. Um, I'm going to basically use these guys. Hold on. Yeah. Airbase, Holland. Hold on. I want Holland. Whatever. Okay. I'm probably going to have both of these because if I know correctly, they can't actually use these brand new frames that I just have built for them. They can use Charlie and they can use Alpha from what I know. These aren't the brand new ones, these are intermediate ones. That's why they're all low, because they just have not been using them. Doi, alright, whatever. 
they should all go there and they'll all basically just immediately go there and train. Um, that's not what they're going to do because they haven't spawned in yet, but that's whatever. I don't care that much. What are you guys doing? Yes, you guys are battling and duking it out in the Benelux region. I don't like that. That's whatever. What am I having my military do? They're standing on standby for the most part. Where are you guys? Are you guys doing nothing right now? Do I need you guys doing anything right now? Who should you be helping out over here? We can't send anybody over here, can we? We can't. We must be at peace. That is fine. I do not need them like that. I do not need them at all. Um, but what do I want to do with this Mountaineers? The Mountaineers can kind of just chill out, I guess? No, the Mountaineers can go to the Yugoslavian front. As a matter of fact, we will probably just tell them that right there. That is all I really need them of. They're gonna be like, just, just that much? Why? Because that should be enough for one Mountaineer on each of these. And one Mountaineer over here. Oh, is that my template? I don't think so. I think this is my. We can't switch. Okay, fine. Fine. It's fine. Are we training more? We're training a single Panza division. Fine. Um, I don't quite remember where I left off, but I do know that this is going to kick off, and that they have nothing they can really do about it. Unless if it's in my... nope. Okay. We're just going to do this, we're going to do chitlins, it's going to be 25 days, we'll be fine. So we can just kind of run around and do whatever, because this is our only front that is fully threatened. This is secondly threatened, but it's not really threatened that bad. Let me look at anything. This over here should be good, this over here is not good, but it should be fine, because we have forces ready to uh, reply in full. No template for... Basic medium chassis. What is a basic medium chassis doing? First, we're going to look at the planes. They're kind of good. They're, they're, they're doing fine for now. Production. The production is doing good. The planes themselves are... They're, they're okay for what they are. We need a lot more medium tanks, or light tanks and medium tanks. We also need resources for that. Um, what are we doing here? There's no way we have shortages on guns. We don't. Okay. What are we producing? Do we have full level two? Oh my goodness. I know I'm not producing. Okay, I'm doing this. You should not be producing guns if you're not actively fighting war because you're wasting a lot of your production and you can start converting most of your manpower. We lost a lot of planes and shiznit. Alright, so if you think, okay, why is it telling me this? You're like, alright, what is it doing here? Why is it telling me that we engaged these boats if nothing happened? Something did happen. As a matter of fact, you damaged one of their ships. It wasn't that one. One of these. You damaged one of these. And so it considers that a win, because these can't actually damage your planes, but you can damage your ship them. That's just really good. Usually your planes will get shot down, like one or two of them, for a ship. But we are absolutely getting demolished. They are damaging our ships, my bad. Yeah. 
They're damaging our ships. Okay, my bad. I'm reading these wrong. I need fighter planes over here. I need fighter planes in these two regions. Stat. Where are all my fighter planes? They are all in the Benelux region. Why are they all in the Benelux region? We have 500... Oh, we're killing the living heck out of their planes. Oh, we're doing really good here. We're doing really good, okay. Well, in that case, we don't need super advanced planes. We just need Holland. No. Go to Nord Pajdokaye. And go to the English Channel. That's how we're going to set that up. And then what we're going to do. We're going to set up a bunch of. Interwar. Where we're going to do one of these. And then one of these. Ooh, carrier airframe. Alright. So all of these. You can just immediately start fighting in here. Inter no, air superiority right here. It's a death mission for those guys. These guys have a chance, so we'll do that. What are you guys doing? Nothing. You shouldn't be doing anything. Um, you can strike ships from right over here. So do that for me, please. Um. You guys can't do anything, really. You guys can strike ships, so do the same thing over here, please. I don't care. You shouldn't care about using uh, allied planes and stuff like that. Even if you're, like, really hurting. Air superiority. Yeah. We're not losing any planes over here. It says we're not winning this battle, because we aren't. We don't have more planes than them, so technically we're not winning this battle. Why are you two on interception? No. Um, go on this. Make sure you always have some on interception, otherwise they're just going to start bombing you again. So as you can see, we have more on superiority, and that means they're dying more. So we have a bunch of their planes. Ooh, shot down by AA. Dang. I mean, six shot down by AA in one day? Weesh. I want to know which battles that's happening in. This is just going to get shut down. These guys should be launching missiles. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. They should be launching missiles at these guys to fight them a little bit as a fighting retreat. They don't tend to do that. That's not too bad because saving my submarines for another battle is a lot better than just wasting them. Check on it again. Shot down six. Their agility. Their air fire. What the flip are they doing over here? What in the flip? They've completely abandoned this. Alright. Well. They really, really like... Trying to shoot down the Benelux. I think what we're going to do... We're going to choose this guy right here. These two will go to the Benelux. You'll stay in the English Channel. And you guys specifically... Quick deploy. No. How do I change this?
there's a way to change this. I don't quite remember. I do want you to be elite air wing, and I want you to be priority. There are no airplanes in the reserve. That's kind of what you want to see. You don't want to see planes in the reserve a lot, because it means that they're not being used. But you want to make sure you have some in the reserve, like you don't want zero in the reserve. Because that means as soon as you have a loss, you can't replace it. Friendly plane loss. We have more agility and air defense. Our speed isn't quite as high as theirs. So they have more planes than us in general. So we need to make sure that the planes that we're using and when we use them is extremely efficient. That's what you need to make sure as well. I don't know what these planes are doing. They should not be... They should be grounded. Most... <laughs> they should be grounded to their roots. Most of these planes should be just absolutely grounded right now. We have three fighter planes. They should all be into the fighter wing. They're all operating on Bologna. Yeah, you should be able to assign some type of general to these as well. Um, I don't know what these guys are really doing. I don't know what you guys should be doing. I don't have any I don't care about. But I will use the most advanced plane that I have. And I will give you much luck. Please destroy this. Please. Um, let's see, what are our naval battles saying? We lost two submarines for nothing. Oof, that is rough. We are basically shutting down the English Channel. Nobody's able to go through here without losing planes, so we don't care about this. Air groups, you're fine. You just, just, just stay there. Stay there. It's fine. Hold. It's fine. Chill out. All of you. We don't need you dying. We need you guys kind of saving yourselves for now. The most advanced planes, really? Honestly? Go for it. You don't... Some of the most advanced ones. Not the most advanced, but... Go for it. We need to continuously just shut down this region right here. It will prove useful. Modify officer core. Oh shit. Air innovations? Nice. Strat bombing. Ground support. Naval mission efficiency. Ooh, this is actually really useful right now. That one single one was really useful. You should kind of be trying to do all of this, but there you go. Spirit of the Air Force. Later, later, we'll do that. We should really be trying to do all of that. Unfilled import requests. Japanese Russia. I still don't know who you guys are. What the flip? You guys got puppeted by Japan? After I helped you? I'm still getting that free oil, right? I better be getting that free oil. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. We don't have to worry about going to war with the Soviet Union. We have... Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um... Greece, it's Russia that has it. Actually, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go straight after Portugal, who is now trading with us. Nice. Um, probably just do two. 
keep this like this because we are should be building a bunch of these and these will automatically make rubber so we don't need to worry about rubber right now we just need to win the air war gain ground lock down europe and make sure it's locked down so they don't have the soviets supporting them they have an anti-german mill fudge i don't know what that's going to do i don't know how that's going to work for us and we don't have any political power so it's not going to be super great right now we don't need the Czechoslovakian force but we don't need to disband them either ooh what's this oh nice hold on let's see what is this Small airframe. We're not doing that. Himmler becomes a field marshal. No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh, Lithuania. In the Netherlands. I might do. No. No. Himmler, no. I might do this. All states will be cored. I think this should give me a bunch of good stuff. Incorporation. I want to do okay. We will do Lithuania. Oh. But full manpower strength. I want this. Ah! Full manpower, zero equipment. What are you doing? What do you got? Artillery, nothing too fancy, but I love it. Where are you guys going? Where, where are you guys going? You, you, you guys are going over here. I, all right, that's cool. How I'm going to try to roleplay this is... um. Uh, Hitler, if he didn't go completely crazy, is already going to kind of fail because we don't have access to this and we're already at war with, uh, yeah, we're already at war with, uh, Germany, sir, or with these guys. So we're just going to see. We can survive more or less um but every day we grow stronger and the allies grow weaker so we'll see what, what what's going to go on with this because we have essentially more than they can handle but right now they have more than we can handle so we'll see more factories what do we need produced tanks Tanks, tanks, tanks. We need tanks. We don't need armored cars. We need tanks. I don't care about not having enough light tanks. Because we're trying to replace the light tanks with medium tanks. I will do something with light tanks later. If I have light tanks available later... What's going on here? Oh, that's what's going on. By using trucks in surrounding areas, you should be able to lighten up the load. 
but it also makes your supplies a lot more vulnerable. So try not to do it in areas actively being bombed. Use it sparsely, as Germany at least. As Germany. Use it sparsely. And usually use it mostly for like the rear lines. Fudge, bro. We lost close air support. We cannot afford to be losing close air support like that. However, it looks like we were able to just throw a lot of damage around. So we're hoping that um that type of damage is just going to be able to seal them out for the count, more or less. You guys are still repairing? Bro, what the flip? You sunk an enemy ship. You have an assist. History. Nothing. But you fought in plenty of battles, apparently. Jeez Louise. You killed one, assisted four. But we've lost, obviously have lost a few ships here and there. You're the only one left? Fudge, man. We don't have any... Just, just go back here. Go back here. I need you repairing. You guys are mostly good. We need skilled crews in charge of these boats. Skilled crews will do a lot better than just... You, you can see here. Defense goes up. Your damage goes up. Just straight up, skilled crews can do a lot. But skilled crews are kind of hard to find. I don't want... God, I don't want this. Spears are in there. Blockade runner, convoy warfare. Ew. Nice. Alright, I like that. That was really good. I like that a lot. Um, what's research looking like? We're about to get new cannons. We can probably update those tanks. And we're going to be able to update our planes pretty soon. Probably not too much, though, because... Ooh! What is this? A victory? We only sunk a single convoy, though? But we damaged a lot! Oh, we damaged a lot. Okay. They also damaged a lot. We are trading. We can't afford to trade like this, just straight up being honest. We can't afford to trade like this. I'm gonna get rid of the cast in that role. There shouldn't be too many doing that. Oh, it's these two. Okay. There aren't too many doing that. Alright, so I'll keep them doing that. These two can die. This, this, this one, this, these are basically like suicide pilots almost. We're using these planes until they run out. We, we don't care. And we're just ditching them. Um, You guys are all doing pretty good. So you can see... Battle versus training wise, it's pretty pretty good to train them up at least beyond level one. And then beyond that, it's just gonna be kind of similar. I like yellow. Yellow means that they're not gonna be doing too much. They're not bombing our buildings anymore. Nice. They're not bombing any more troops because there's no more troops to bomb. They have lost so many fighters. Oh my goodness. They have terrible... They must have terrible fighters. The, in this version, in this mod, the AI does not know how to design planes. They don't know how to adapt to it. They just kind of use really bad plane designs. Really simple, poor plane designs. They work great for producing a lot of numbers, but um, that's really it. What do we want to do with these?
You know what I can do over here? Military attache. I want to do a military attache. Let me check up on their war. They are not near capitulation. Great. We'll save up for that. We'll throw that on there. And then we'll see what's going on. We will see... Let me see. Who do we have, though? You are an expert safe character, you're tough, and you're a linguist. Alright, that's nice. Escape artist spy. Don't we have some... Oh, we have a turncoat. We have a French turncoat. Which means you should be used in an area that used to be ruled by France. This is what I hear. By having a French town cult, you will be somewhat useful. Double agent, your seducer, your tough, and your escape artist. Nice. You're the linguist, you are a seducer, and escape artist. I'm going to do this. We're going to declare this war. I said this. Alright. On the other side. Um. We're just going to take the tanks. And we're just going to kind of move forward with them. I'm going to take these two tanks and just move them up. Okay, so all of them move up through there. Almost. We'll take two and move them up through there. Take these three. I'm going to take this one. We'll take that. Denmark joined the Allies. And we crushed the living daylights out of them. Not even a question. You burst into here. We need to break all of this immediately. Why? Because the allies can potentially land, and we don't need the allies landing right now. That's what we don't need. Get the better one, we can just keep moving over here. Where are the tanks? Why are you going up here? No. Why would you have that be a front? I can't draw a front line here. I can have this as a fallback line. A fallback line up here. And have a fallback line up here. Go to Copenhagen. Alright, so we have two things done. We have artillery done. Anti-tank. Nice. Okay. Um, and then we had air. Helicopter tab? Don't worry about it. Don't even really try looking at it. It's not important for you. Medium airframes. That's what we need. Medium airframes. Now, um, it's really just the cavalry I want doing this, so I want like four here. I want like three here. I want like two here. We'll see how that works. Move them north. Boom. We own almost everything up here. 
great news. They still own um, Iceland, unfortunately. If we had Norway, we would be able to just kind of blitz through that, but we don't have Norway. So we can't just blitz through that. Ooh, what did they do? Okay, we just killed the convoy. That's fine for now. What do I need these guys doing? Honestly, delete these. That's what some of the infantry from over here can be doing. You know what? No, the cavalry can do it. The cavalry captured this. The cavalry can do it. Because there's no mountains up here. There's no reason for these future mountaineers to be up there. Um, do we need the whole coastline guarded, really? Sure. We don't need this guarded. So, as far as I'm concerned, this area is actually super safe. We don't need to worry about it. From naval invasion. We are losing that badly? Like close air support? Again, we're not using that much close air support. No, we're not losing that much close air support. They're just kind of freaking out because we don't have a lot. It's fine. I have it under control. Please do not freak out. These guys, are we replenishing these somehow? I don't think I'm producing any naval bombers. I shouldn't be. Medium airframes. These, these, these. Why am I losing so many of medium airframes? There should only be one in the English Channel. Am I losing that many? Done by AA. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, the close air support is just gonna have to have to be the close air support. Where are they? You just, just ground yourself. Um, matter of fact, just do this. Yeah, you're fine. It's fine. You don't need to be in the battle. We have naval bombers. We actually have naval bombers for this. The normal air. The fighters, they're, they're doing their job. They're doing just fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Alright, what are we gonna do? Um, The good ones... We're gonna send to defend. Here. Here. And here. We already have one there. Here. It's gonna be quite divided. But we need a few. No. Stay where you're at. We'll take these. So this is how you maintain absolute domination. So let's see. We somehow have more boats than what I first checked in on. Alright. That's good. There's only one. <laughs> you are going to experience a lot of losses as trying to be submarine sneaky sneakers. But, um... I don't know what to do with these guys. Convoy escort, I guess. 
I know you guys are you're supposed to have a bunch of ch ships, but they're just not that many. They're waiting. We do not have enough dockyards to support our own offensive right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. How could you guys let me? F you guys let me forget that I have a whole new artillery system. What is wrong with you? Ugh. Such bad support. I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm not at war. I should be repl I should be upgrading like this. Um, that's useless. It's literally useless. Don't do that. Also useless. Don't ever do that. There used to be a mod where you get support equipment too, and it's kind of nice, but it's not really useful if you really think about it. Support equipment is always support equipment, and it would kind of make sense to have support equipment become more expensive over time to add like plus ten or plus point one. Or plus 0.2 to how much it costs for one support equipment. But it doesn't make sense because it takes more and more support equipment, like the amount of support equipment required takes more for the more stuff that you're trying to add on for the your units. So it kind of already balances out in and of itself. They lost a convoy. Who's this? Who the heck is this? Excuse me. Who are, who are, who are we at war with? <laughs> who, who is that? I'm gonna click on something and it's gonna show up real weird. In Belgium. Who who is this? I don't I don't ever want to understand honestly. Who is that? It's not you guys. Who is this? I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. <laughs> um, what's next? Check up on the occupied territories. We will put it real slow. Pausing is not good. Don't ever show your non-resistant uh, countries. It just kind of wastes your time. You guys are not complying. You guys are very compliant. Why do I have you on that still? Are you still compliant? Take local police. You, you, you've earned it. Secret police. I might tune it down, or ramp it up back to a military governor in a couple areas. Bohemia and Moravia. Just to kind of keep it down. You don't want to... I like microing this. It just kind of feels good. Honestly, because they're so resistant. Ah, uh, that's fine. Free falls. Is, um, being a pain in the butt. If I'm being quite honest. I kind of want martial law. I'm free friends. The Kingdom of Livonia? Are we even at war with you? Oh my goodness, why? That is a lot. Kingdom of Livonia, take martial law and keep it. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, um, the ones that are resisting so much, put it to a military governor until they decide to stop resisting. Because military governor will have it go up until it's like a little ill. You see, secret police works. Secret police works. You don't want it above like 10 or 20 percent. You don't want it above like 15 percent, is what I'm trying to say. Is the Netherlands? That's the Netherlands? 
Are they still like this? What are you? Poland can take a military governor. Or a fucking martial law, because that is atrocious. It should not be having this much. Belgium? Whoa! Whoa, what is this? Alright, first off, the entirety of these guys can just go to martial law. Okay. That works. Luxembourg? You can stay on that. Why did you guys declare war on these guys? What did they ever do to you? They're allied with these guys. I can't just... The Japanese aren't even communist. I don't understand what is going on in this world. Um... Am I, am I ever supposed to? Diego Pogo? Let's take a look. What is this? Diego, no. Hold on. I think I know what that's actually supposed to represent what it's supposed to do. We don't need it. <laughs> Accidents chance, air doctrine costs. Oh, that would be really cheap air doctrines. But you don't actually need cheap air doctrines. Dive bombing. That's kind of useless. Cast research speed. Ooh. Industry. Air wing training experience. Branch independent spirit. I kind of want to do that. Either dive bombing, because it is actually pretty good. Air crew surveys? Would be pretty good as well. And air and branch independent spirit is really good for Germany specifically. Why not? It'll pay itself back. Repair speed? Oh, we kind of need that. Ooh, submarine piracy! I kind of want this, just because. Not this. We need one of these three. I <laughs> don't They're all really good for this situation. So, repair speed obviously means your ships will repair faster, and as Germany, you're going to really need that. You're contending somebody that can produce more ships and take the hits harder than you can, and you need to hit harder than them to try to last longer than them. And it's just not possible. It's just not possible in this game. But... With that, you can try. You can actually have a chance. With this, chip module's research speed, it's not as good as what it sounds, because you'll already research it pretty quickly, and the you will not have that much of an advantage compared to the AI until late game. This will not be that useful, actually. This one will be super useful. No, it won't. The research speed will be useful for submarines itself, but it won't be too useful in the so. Because again, the um Huh, alright. I guess this one. And then we'll switch over to the other one when we're not being Yes, that's right. Motorization drive. I think
what the flip is this? We have to choose this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I I completely forgot to do this too, so we can test out how this works. If this works how it's supposed to. Because what this means is that no matter what I decide to do, Alright, so we want a better gun than what we kind of got. Soft attack goes up, but that is all that goes off. We're not entirely worried about soft attack right now. That's fine. Okay. Um, what else can we do? No! Whatever. Remove. Alright. It's not supposed to cost anything. Hold on. Let a day pass. We'll do this. Actually, wait, nope. I don't think it works. I don't think it works. It's supposed to be free now, basically. It's supposed to be free. That's what that says. Um. Oh! No, I'm just using it wrong. Nope, I'm just dumb. I didn't read it right. That's not as overpowered as what it thought it used to be. Because what this means is you can now just add as much mechanized and motorization as you want. Oh, it doesn't work for... It doesn't work for armored cars or any of your motorized artillery? That's kind of dumb. That should be changed, but that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Do we have enough light tanks to fulfill this role? We don't have any light tanks to fulfill that role. What would we need? We don't have any medium tanks to fulfill this role. We don't have any light tanks as is. So we just need to push a lot for um, light tanks. Do we have enough for a motorized? We should have more than enough. Ooh. So by using this, we can just wait for our motorized units. How many do we need? So we already have one. We only need four. Only need four motorized units. That's fine. Okay. And then we can literally just get rid of the um. So what this does is if you set it to this, it will just continue to train forever. It will just continue to train as long as it has enough this, and then it will deploy as soon as this gets to the on hunter. And, um, your units cannot train 100% until they have 100% equipment, which kind of makes sense. In reality, it would probably be about 80% to 100, and it would scale down from there, but, um, that's how the game works, and it's reasonable. So basically, your units, if you can never actually fill this bar, your units will never actually deploy. Even if it's like here for two years. I've seen it before. Anyways, so... This means it will continue training as long as it has equipment. As soon as this is trained up, send them down and they'll be deployed. Sending this to one or two, it will basically wait till it fulfills this number, so it will train like four. We will go one, two, three, four, and then it will delete the whole order by itself. 
which is neat. So I'm gonna do that because that's pretty good. Um, that's exactly what I need, as a matter of fact. Do we have? Can we do that? Select white up. Alpha Yaga. This is like our lighter version of this. And I can't change them to a gigs, I think. Kind of salty about it. Kind of pretty salty about that. But I want to share experience with this dude. I can't do it quite yet. Alright, let's see. What is the trading in the oceans like? We have slightly more ships. We've lost a lot more ships. Oh my goodness, we cannot afford to lose all these ships. What is going on? You kind of want to make sure that they do this. So what that what this does is this tells it where it's going to deploy to. When this boat is finished building, where is it going to go? And by telling it to go to this reserve fleet, it will simply go into here and follow whatever orders this fleet is doing. This fleet does not have all of its boats. That kind of really stresses me out. Australia just joined this war? Has China not been at war with Japan this entire time? Surely they have been, right? What are you- I don't care. Costa Rica joined the Allies. Nice. You're making more enemies for yourself. I do not understand. So this is war with Russia. I kind of want this. Integrate war economies. This will buff my allies. But do I care? Do I care? Oh, what is this? That lost a convoy. Nice. So our submarines are actually doing their job. They're doing their thing. They are doing their thing. Which is good. We still don't have this. That is fine. We will order more. That is perfectly fine. How is this going? We are building everything we need to build. And that is a very long line. I will have it repair everything before I try to build a whole bunch of more stuff. Um, what is supply lines looking like? Supply lines look good. Undo that. What are planes looking like? Planes look like these two planes. Should be in the same area. I don't know how they're reaching Eastern Germany, to be fairly honest. There's no way they're not using all of that. Only two boats are repairing right now. You can send these back here. So if you're really hurting for ships, go ahead, take the ones that are repaired, and you can actually move them from here without any drama, and they will go straight back to the fleet. Also, the I've noticed that this order for um when to repair doesn't really work that well. It's not terrible. Ships will repair automatically, but it's not great.
why are they declaring war on literally everything? It's not very smart. Nicaragua, they have declared war against the entirety of Central America. They're not strong individually. They're okay together. But considering the fact that you haven't even won your civil war yet, you really should not be declaring war <laughs> against more people if you haven't even won the single war that you started. Nice. Oh, nice. Damaging boats basically ensures... Basically ensures that, um... I've united the entirety of Latin America against the Western world. Anyways, um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> we're just gonna go. We're, we're gonna pretend like I didn't go evil there. <laughs> so, these guys are ready-ish. I think I just reminded the AI that you should repair ships that are currently damaged. They're currently hunting down the enemy. Oh no, that's right. I had these guys on patrolling. Did I not? At least two of you. The fall of Nanjing. Where are you guys at? So, because they are continuing to do this, I will do this. Dang. That's okay, I guess. Nice. What is this looking like? We basically won. Oh, I think we caught their fleet. Can we damage more? Come on, I will gladly take one destroyer for a submarine and a convoy. A convoy is like a nice little neat little cherry on top. We'll shoot more. Take them again. Come on now. Dang it, I lost a flippin' destroyer. Alright, well, what are the results? Goodness gracious. I lost another cast. Probably the ones I don't care about. We were able to damage a lot. Being able to throw that amount of damage out is really useful. It is really intensely useful. Give me the navy. I want... Yes. The navy. They barely got damaged. The ones that did get damaged are kind of pretty pretty unfortunate if you ask me. So we're gonna have two more brand new ships. Where are y'all going? I wanna see this battle. Where the fleet goes. Ooh, that is gonna be rough. Oh, they're hidden. No. I don't really want you all to join this war. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want y'all to join this war. This is not fun for y'all. Oh, dude, are they not getting any supplies anymore? What's going on? Civilian wise, what are they not getting? They are not getting the fuel they need. They are not getting this fuel. They only have 56,000 56, left. 
we flippin' use 5,000, so they do not have fuel to continue this war right now. They don't have the fuel to continue to fly their planes, to be fairly honest. They're losing convoys. This is what you want to see. Unfortunately, the U.S. still has fuel. They have plenty of it. I highly doubt they're really using up that much fuel. But, needless to say, what does this look like? Oh, it's it's kind of nothing. It's fine for now. It is fine for now. Get rid of that. Okay. Let me see. What exactly is going on here? We have bombing, but not too much of it. I like it. There is a lot of fighters being used. We're going to have to divert production for fighters. Bombers should be fine. Do we are we producing heavy bombs? No, we're only producing casts right now. Purely cast right now. So I might divert. I'm gonna have to divert a bit of this production. from what it's going to something like filthy excess that we don't need <clears throat> like guns we don't need that many guns probably do something like that boom Losing trains to bombing? Where? There's no way they're not just losing as many as we are. Air support? I do like air support. Ace effectiveness is nice. Fighter detection is nice. Fighter detection mission. Bad weather penalty. Penalty. Fleet speed while retreating. Retreat decision a chance. Position. Better. Ooh. Night fighting. Night fighting used to be really overpowered. I don't know if it works as well anymore, but if I see anything that can improve my ability to fight at night, I usually take it. Because it's usually better than other things. Are still fighting these without... Taking any damage and doing any damage? That's unfortunate. They've destroyed one of these. They about to destroy some of these? Not yet. Not quite. They catch him again? They did. Get him, boys. I don't think they have the fleet to really handle us right now. We are dogging these flipping submarines right now.
we've been losing a lot of planes, but it should be fine. Jeez Louise. They're losing a lot right now. It is actually kind of draining them. Also, just to let y'all know, losing convoys kills your manpower. It's not just your convoys themselves. Your manpower will go down as well. They are losing a lot of everything right now. I'm noticing. They are about to not be able to actually utilize everything effectively. Torpedoes don't reveal themselves anymore. Bro, Reggie. That's for the submarine, I think. Actually, instead of using that, I would probably need to just get better subs. That works so much better. Yep, they are trying their best to avoid getting hit. And they are failing. Nine destroyers. Oof. Yeah, Denmark doesn't have a fleet anymore. But our fleet is heavily... It just needs to go back to port real quick. It just needs to go to port for a little bit. Why are you guys... No. You guys are aggressive. You guys going into battle or what? There you go. Get them. Get them. Get them. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The entire British fleet just showed up. Two hundred and seventy-one days. Don't mind if I do. I have not been doing any of this. Cause I don't really want to do this. Dang. All right. Um. We'll do this. Cause I want to know everything about these people. I want to know everything. Oh, shoot, I know almost everything about these people. <gasps> this works! This used to not work. So, they have... a lot of bad submarines. If you use this, you get to tell just what they actually have and how effective it's going to be. That is not terribly effective. I don't know, compared to mine, it might not be that effective. They're battle cruisers, anyways. Okay, they have a lot of really good ships. They have a lot of carriers they're trying to use. I'm not too sure if it's going to work, though, because against battleships, carriers don't tend to be very good if you design them well enough. So let's see, who do we need a lot of convoys for? Yeah, get rid of that one. That should be fine. Let's take a day. And then we don't need this one anymore. We should be, yep. Nice. 
Holy shnikes. Well, we have 400 now. <laughs> Capital ship raiders. That's good for me. So what I want to do is I want to update any and every design, making sure it is peak condition. No, that's right. So design it to where but design it to where they can be very good. They're supposed to protect against subs. They're not supposed to protect against other destroyers necessarily. They're just supposed to protect against subs. Fine. Nice. Awesome. Amazing. Wonderful. Light cruisers, do we care? Do we care? We will do it. Just cause. It's fun, say. This is a light cruiser, right? Yeah. It's a light cruiser. Alright, this is insanely more powerful. Heavy cruisers. Do I care about this one? The Ponja Sheaf. You have to manually do this. You have to manually do a lot of these. Okay. Yeah. Again. Nice. Yeah, we're not gonna mess around with the battleships. We don't care that much. We only have 51, which means we've taken hefty losses. It's time to replace them. I don't know where we've taken losses. Probably it's something to do with the main fleet duking out with flipping the UK's main fleet. We've only lost two submarines. We did no damage. Didn't the whole fleet show up in that battle? We killed it. Only one loss there. Okay. 
so now we should notice a slight trend of a couple of different things. Dang. I don't like losing this many, really. Whole destroy us. Yeah, that's right. Oh, we can just change this out for the destroy that we have now. I'm not gonna keep that. Yeah. Okay. Now producing two a week is really good for to basically grow into something like one day. They are earning a lot. Oh, that is worrying. Whenever you see... Whenever you just start seeing this number go up, you should start worrying. Does that mean stuff is going down? <laughs> Alright, so there's a couple things I wanted to do. Mainly, mainly, main thing I wanted to do. Dang, I don't like having. So now we can see what just is going on here. Oof, they're attacking with flipping all different types of units. There's no need to do that. Unless Atlantic Wall will actually be pretty useful to Germany. Because even, even if you like start to lose this area. They have wrecked a lot here, but I mean, all right. I don't have much hope for this. Do we think we can shut down Great Britain? We can, we have, we have shut them down. Effectively. And how we have shut them down is by the fact that they don't have any more oil. Great Britain doesn't have any more oil. No oil means no planes. And honestly, Great Britain needs a lot of convoys just to upkeep its supply lines and stuff. So dealing all of this convoy damage is really useful. I forget what I research. Okay. Probably want to look into, yeah, better equipment for our infantry. What the flip was that? Oh no. Where is my go repair? Matter of fact, the whole fleet can go repair. The whole fleet. Why are you guys trying to brawl that much? You are not brawlers. You know this. Yeah, we're not going to be producing a lot of convoys for a while. We're not going to be able to do anything for a while. You guys can go back on this. God bless. Matter of fact, okay. You're good on what you're doing. Alright, 
so they're able to keep them behind for a while. They don't have any organization, really. There's nobody in Parma. You guys should be moving to Parma. Move into Parma. What's wrong with you guys? You're gonna lose this bridge, but that's fine for now. That looks like a naval invasion. Oh, it's over here. I don't care about over here. <laughs> I don't know who called you into the war, but um, they were not very smart to do so. I mean, honestly, these guys keep the U.S. distracted. Keeping the U.S. distracted. How are you guys having air superiority over here? But having the U.S. distracted is going to be a huge boon to us because we can actually, you know, operate without being suffocated. We have 1.5. They have 4.7. Jeez Louise. But they have no oil. Which means little to no actual air resistance. We're fighting the U.S. over here in the air. I completely forgot talking about air. Completely forgot. You should really save them, but I'm not going to. Completely forgot about something. And I feel really dumb for forgetting about it. Close air support, we don't care about that right now. This is really important. Weight exceeds thrust. What is this? Heavy machine gun one. Plus four. Eight to three. Six to three, so no, just use this. So light machine gun. We're losing weight, which means we're a little bit faster, and we have more air attack now. Wonderful. And we should be using these. Improved close air support. You guys should also be using the cannon, but I highly doubt you're going to be able to use a bunch of cannon. Actually, just keep cannon one. Because you don't earn anything from using the better cannon. So just... Fudge. That sucks. Okay, whatever. You guys don't use cannons. Dude, that sucks. If I upgrade everything here, this should be really fast and really good. Insanely fast. We don't need to actually do any operations, we just need our people to not die. You guys should be able to... Why are you here? All y'all just wait. Go repair. I don't understand what is so difficult about just going to repair. Yeah, 
let's see. It's a dangerous naval invasion. It's kind of fine though, because it's a follow me division. Yeah, they don't have a lot going on. Go over here. Oh my goodness. The entire UK fleet is out in this water right now. What are my planes doing? There has to be something going on with planes right now. What are both of these doing? They're not both. They are in Calais. Go over here. Go to Normandy. So you guys are all standing by. Is there anybody over here? There's a couple. We're not too worried about those guys. Cass can just stand by for now. Matter of fact, all of the cast, the whole thing, all of the cast, except for you, you combine back here. Yeah. So we are able to like absolutely mole rat them right now. Um, something else I've noticed, almost completely forgotten about. Editing the Cops Brigade. We'll need... We can probably do two. So we'll need a lot less manpower. So much less manpower, so much less guns. So much less um, support equipment. And as we keep on adding these, you'll notice that the number kind of doesn't stack right. Because you get more suppression per unit, so you don't really need to worry about it. We'll do that. So now the amount of armored cars we have available should go down immensely, but... Honestly, what I also want to do, while I have the opportunity to, how many trucks do we have? I don't want to use too many trucks, but we will use a number of trucks. And a number of cavalry to supplement this unit. The trucks are what probably is going to get replaced first. Alright, let's see. So we will need technically more, but also technically less. We just have two major victories. We're basically draining the allies 
of their oil that they do not have enough of. The U.S. can technically supply them forever, but they don't have enough convoys between the three of them to continue this forever. We do. Oh shoot, is there any of these decisions? No? What? Dang, alright. So, yeah. I'm gonna make some of that. Let's see. Honestly? They should be winning down here. I don't understand how they're losing that much. They should be winning. And it shouldn't be much of a challenge. I said to... Whatever. Give me this. Nice. We lost a U-boat. I think we've just made it super dangerous for boats to come through here. So they're just not as nice. I don't care about doing it against the Netherlands right now because the Netherlands aren't that important. But what we do have is their cipher, so that should be cool. They just went up to extensive constriction. That's pretty useful to us, because it means they're not going to be able to recruit that many units fast. However, I'm pretty sure they already have a bunch of units. But if they're fighting the Japanese, it should be fine, because they need a bunch to garrison their hometowns. I don't have any Marines. I should have Marines, but... I don't like doing that, honestly. Machine assisted decryption. What are all of these ships doing? You should be repairing. I don't understand why you are not repairing right now. Go repair. Whoa, where are you guys at? You're in the battle? One of these is dying. They don't have proper protection. Goodness gracious. That was really risky. Needlessly risky. Repairing. Repairing. Yeah, there's a lot of repairs going on and stuff right now. Jeez Louise. We have free military factories. Give me more planes. I need a lot more planes. We're losing even more submarines. At this rate, we're not going to have a navy <laughs> by the end of the war. We're just not going to have a navy. It's kind of fine, though. Because they don't know what they're doing, to be exact.
right now they're trying to break Latin America. So they're just bludgeoning their heads against the wall. And it's kind of working to my benefit right now. They're bombing our buildings. Alright, here we go. There are our units. It's the last of them. They don't quite know what to do with themselves. Nice. That's actually pretty useful for now. We are then going to research rockets and we're going to build them. So we're repairing a lot of this. So it doesn't really matter what they're damaging because we can just repair it pretty effectively. It's just going to be pretty annoying because instead of building more stuff, we're going to be repairing stuff. I have a million in the field and a million not in the field. I don't need to conscript more, right? Extensive conscription, yeah. I don't need to conscript more. London has a lot of manpower left, but not a lot of convoys left. So slowly but surely, they're going to have to use all of these boats. We have more naval dockyards than them. So we can actually outproduce the UK, not the USA, <laughs> but the USA is contending with Japan and the Japanese Russia, which is kind of a footnote, but Japan itself is going to be, and they're contending, and they're contending. Oh, they don't have a navy, do they? No. These guys do. They're contending with Peru, which has a military presence, or naval presence. Having a naval presence should not be scoffed at, simply because a single boat can knock out and kill off, like, goodness gracious, no, come on. <clears throat> Anyways, they can knock out, like, a uh, ten... To, they can knock out a single boat, single submarine can knock out a hundred convoys. A hundred convoys is a lot of production. And that's if it's left alone. So if the boat's not dealt with, then it can be pretty substantial. We're going to have to retract that. Man, we don't need to buy any fuel. A bunch of fuel refineries. We are set on fuel.
They're running. They're running. It's another battle. Atlantic Wall. Now they really can't. Monstermont Does this do anything? It does. We should do this. Oh, yes! Although I think I already did that, if I'm not mistaken. I did. It's fine. But there's only a hundred thousand in garrison. Speaking of which, look at the ones with high compliance. Polish, of all. Um, secret is police? Yeah. This means Poland will probably be the first one to actually be like... Fudge. What did I just change? It's gonna be a weird one. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Poland's gonna be like the first one. That's not gonna be a hassle to do anything with. Actually, I think I did it backwards. I did it. Let's test out what happens if we do civilians. Nope. Local police force. Yeah. Yup. Ooh. Ooh la la. Secret of police. Local police. We're going to kind of eat that. No, we're not. There. Maximum compliance that we can get. Whole thing is military governor because it really wow. I mean, y'all might be able to be secret police. 
Julian. Y'all are gonna have to be put on fucking martial law. Meanwhile, half of this can actually be put in secret police. By keeping up with this, you essentially reduce the need for goodness gracious. using a bunch of troops. What? Twenty-three. You'll be slowly but surely reducing the need for your garrisons, and it will free up some manpower here and there. A little bit of manpower can go a long ways. How am I losing? Close air support still. I should not be losing any more close air support. Holy crap. Only Nikes. Three years. 500 days. It's the only thing we really have for the air research though. Oh, we just lost a single one. So it seems like the naval side of things has calmed down a bit. It's stabilized. We're not losing a dozen a day. Oh, Y'all just aren't on convoy rating anymore. Honestly, just, just go back to training, you know. You located. All right, it's cool. Okay, so making sure you have trained crews, honestly, is pretty important. It's pretty important. Now we have free civilian factories. Alright. We're going to gear a few more because I feel very safe over here. We're going to go like this. We're just going to fill it up with oil. I just kind of want a 
bunch of naval support. And then what we're gonna do... Did we already build a bunch of these? Yeah. Put that up there. That should be more than enough. I don't need to train. You really shouldn't be training that much. Enemies should not be bombing me right now. I don't know why it says they are, because they're really not. Is the Benelux region still like... Oh, you guys aren't even being attacked anymore? You guys are. Northern France isn't... Where's the enemy at so I can get rid of these planes? I wish to rid myself of these planes. Why are you flying our planes? Alright, never mind. Never mind. Go back to the Benelux region. I don't understand why you would be flying our planes. How come those pieces of crap convert, but ours doesn't? Nice. Oh, BEA, beautiful. Two planes. Ooh, carrier air fighters. Those are actually really good to sink. And then we, I think, just based their whole fleet again. Their whole fleet should be based after that. And what based means in this tense is, um,. Their whole fleet should be trying to go repair. Nice. Alright. And if you guys are at base, docked in Normandy, you should be repairing. Get there. Get there. Get them, boys. Heck yeah. Get them, boys. Get them. Get them. Get them. Cut them down. I don't think we have anything overpowered that really kills anything yet. Oh, that's one. I think one of them has been damaged a lot. Nice. Guess what that means. Alright. So now, what we're going to do...
That works. That works well. Norway. We'll take Norway for now. New world. Luxembourg. Did we already core Luxembourg? We should have. We should have all cores over there because of this own nation that formed. No, we don't have all cores over here. Well, go ahead and do it. Which will save us manpower and give us manpower simultaneously. And we have Norway. We will take Norway when we are free to take Norway. And again, we have flippin' destroyed them. Now, I feel like they should hold, they should all repair. Now, why have I not declared war on Norway? You don't want to just declare war on Norway. If you declare war on Norway, they will join the Allies, and then you'll have the UK there. You'll be met with more troops than what you honestly should be. Instead, you naval invade. Why do we have... Okay, hold on. We have literally all of the troops that are training. Major naval win. That is their entire fleet. Again, I don't know how they're getting fuel. Honestly. How their fleets operate without fuel. I'm pretty sure they don't have the same rules as we do. As in, they don't actually need fuel to use their stuff. To kind of make it easier for the allies. But, um... Yeah, they shouldn't have fuel, they shouldn't be able to use anything, really. Hmm. So there's a bunch of stuff down here. We have mobilized Europe. Meanwhile, the Italians are dying. They're fighting their last battles. How many casualties have they caused? Oh my goodness, they took a million casualties. It's Italy is not going to be prepared for this war. Italy is not going to be able to attack me. I was kind of concerned that... Italy would attack me, but um, that's just not happening. Oh, I have to keep this? I can't just... Oh no. 
I have to keep this forever. Okay, no, I don't. Recall attached. Okay. English Channel. I was about to say. Our newer Navy should be better than most of their Navy. Improved medium trends. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, we can design a whole new medium airplane. We're probably gonna see if we can get away with three plane, three um of these. Strat bombing. Cell phone. Some tanks. This. Oh yeah. Radio navigation. Air ground radar. Now, <laughs> the weight to agility kind of just means this plane's not going to have any agility. I'm kind of fine with that. So, first and foremost, This is going to be an everything kind of plan. I need it to do a bunch of different missions. And, okay, so I need to put cast bombs, keep that, throw in a torpedo. That's what I need to do with this. Throw in a tank cannon. That's what it needs. A tank cannon. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound ridiculous at all. That's what it needs. A tank cannon. Now versus the other old one. Better bomb sites. It has better turns. And better turret. I think it only has one. Does that one do better than double light turrets? It does, but it does give it one agility. That's what I know. Alright. Well, that's that plane. Throw this into production. And right now we're just kind of seeing what we can do here.
Let's see what we got. All of these. Okay, they got some medium airframes that they got in spawn here. Honestly, I'm going to take all of them real quick. I'm going to have a quick convention. In the planes that I have. I'm probably losing a lot of these. Yeah, that's fine. Because if I can actually just take. Alright, so a lot of things just happened all at once, and I'm just now realizing this. I just decided to super focus on my air for a little bit, and you should never really truly super focus, it's not really good. But, um, ooh, I like her. I like her a lot. Anyways. If you notice, there's a lot of pop-ups here. I just lost a lot of boats. Ooh, okay. Well, good thing I have enough to make a whole new fleet.
and you should all be repairing. Um, I'm going to send these out in two. Hold on to them for now. I think that with time they are growing. Yeah, okay. That means I get to upgrade a lot of stuff. So I'm going to upgrade a lot of stuff here in a minute. These two can go back over here. Reinforcing, okay. So we're going to have a lot of units ready to rumble soon, but not right now. Matter of fact, just go like over here. Go repair. There's a lot that just happened. The basicality of what I'm understanding is that we just kind of lost a bunch of battles. And our navy kind of has been getting shrecked lately. Just in general. We're down to 45 boats. If you want to just see, okay, 45, that's not too bad. You started off with 56. We've lost 23 submarines and 9 destroyers. We can actually replace everything that we've lost. It's just not good at all to be losing like this. Now, to be fair, we are punching well above our weight. We are killing way more than we are being destroyed. This does not mean... Everything is fine and dandy. Jesus. Noteworthy battles. Doesn't have a name. Cool. What is the Air Force doing? Yeah. How's this going? It's going kind of how I expect. So, with that happening like that, we're going to immediately hold all of them. Reorganize. You are very nice. I don't understand. Why does it just leave them with like really advanced stuff? 
Alright, so we are going to want to build some radar once we can. We have that. That's all working. Submarines. We should want snorkels. Why do we want snorkels? Because this means that our submarines can actually be sneaky. Um, then we're going to go redesign our submarines. Basically everything too. Basically everything that's naval, we're going to go redesign right now. We're going to go into here. Maybe torpedo. We're going to throw in some radar for now. Torpedo. Torpedo. We're going to save those two Germanic battles. Fish. Sure. Actually, no, what do we want? Yeah. So as you can see, these are extremely more expensive. Basically, they use more fuel, but they can go faster, they can go further, they have more health, they attack better, they attack more, they have more detection on the surface, that will change from what I know, this will change, we'll change it out for something, but they will still have more than them. They are a little bit harder to find, not by much, but that will change. They also cannot detect other subs. Right now, that's useless. It's, this, this, this one is virtually useless. This thing right here, it's not that useful. It kind of helps, but not really. But we will produce a few of them because it is useful to us. We do like that, okay. But instead of producing more, we say have one, and then we do this. Put it right underneath it. All right. So what else do we need? I'm going to only kind of try to worry about these two first. So we now have fire control 3. That's really useful. Um, we have radar 2 now. But that's not useful to us right now. We only have torpedo launcher 2. Light engine 2. Depth charge 2. So I think literally that's it. Literally it. And again, we can just kind of ignore everything. There you go. And without a cinch. Like that. Alright. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Planes. Proof this airspace. That's right. We don't care about that. There is no benefit to doing that. You guys are now updated.
these are about to be outdated as well. I don't care about updating them quite yet. We might have enough to actually kind of change this out a bit. Give me 10. Give me 20. That's what I need. So, let's see. It's going to be even harder to do this. It's still only 16. So, we still need... We don't even have that many available. Alright, what about this? We need 450. Dang! We don't have that, do we? At all. Part of me wants to do this right here. And this will give us a major advantage in everything but organization. And it will slow us down a bit. Having motorized infantry is just better, actually. It will bring our armor down by a little bit. It will make us slightly softer. Yeah, it will make us slightly softer. I think I like it like this. How it is. How it was. These are good. Yeah. Um. We'll just take a look around of what has happened so far and what is going on. Little engagements. These are pretty common though. Because we can just stay hidden. This is why it's good. It's really important to actually just keep yourself, keep maintaining good submarines and keep them well trained. Because this is what happens if you have well trained. Sure, there's a bunch of these, but they can't do anything because you're they, they can't see them. Simply put, we mauled whatever was here, mauled it to oblivion. Quite frankly, they had to retreat from it. Yeah, that hurts. But we were able to actually shoot these two things down. That's nice. That's a good trade off. Being able to shoot down a couple of their planes. I don't know what type of planes they're really using, to be fairly honest. I do. My people do. I don't. I didn't look at it. Dang. We actually don't. Um, Is that an upgrade I need? Do I smell an upgrade? No, no it is not. I just need more intelligence on them, I guess. I don't know. I need to infiltrate their air force. Naval combats, land combats, aerial warfare, captured, okay. But we do know that they have a lot of really bad planes. A lot of really bad basic planes. And then a bunch of stuff that they can use against us that's really hurtful. Um, I think I'll finish this off by invading Norway. I think I messed up. Can they even leave yet? I'm dumb. Let's see. I might have to live with this 
I might not have to. We'll see. That was dumb. That was really dumb of me. Why would I do that? I did the big dumb. I did the big dumb. Okay. I think what did happen though he said, yeah, I did not use, I have to redo most of that, but that's easy. Because most of it is just making sure I install torpedoes instead of mines. And then throwing on the radar, that there. This new one, reserve fleet one, infinite, put it right beneath it, put it like that. So the air needs to be established. Um, I think it's literally just this, right? Nothing else got upgraded. Cool. We'll just boop. It's fine. All right. Something else that needs to be done. Bombs. Yeah, then I'm just going to go through the Air Force, just going to make sure we did this properly. Yeah. How much does it say? We just should just need seventy. And these are literally just upgrading. Yeah, we only need a few of these. We have free military factories? What? No way. Also, why are we trading? You're good there. So now we should be using all of the factories that we can use. What you'll notice is that you're just going to have an explosive factory count. Three more, that's not needed. So I should be getting more than enough per week. Ten there. Twenty there. Yes. Alright, I think No, that's equipment one. Converting the equipment is probably priority. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Put 
Poland. Poland is relaxing. Poland is so relaxed. We should be able to use local police force everywhere. We're not going to care about that. All right. Again, we are dogging. I mean, dogging their navy. Still takes seventy days. Holy crap! All right. Well, they need more time. So, we're just end it here. We're just gonna end it here. Alright. Um, I'm gonna show you what to do. If you notice that your supplies, use trucks. By using trucks, you can get more supplies to more places more efficiently. And by doing that, Everything is efficiently supplied. Check on the Navy real quick. A little bit of shenanigans still happening there. That should be fun. You should be repairing, you should be repairing. Why are you guys being attacked? Oh, no, you guys are doing the attacking. Okay. Five assisted kills each. Holy crap. One enemy ship. Yeah, so you'll notice that your early battleships won't actually do, like, any damage, really. They'll be credited for kills because they can actually do a lot of kills, but really, it's your cruisers. These cruisers and stuff. They're gonna do the main damage. Then your destroyers, because they will do a lot of damage, but they won't get, like... They'll do a lot of little damage. Death by a thousand cuts. Oh boy. Oh boy. We should be able to trade blows more efficiently than them. You guys should be leaving. No, we've just been dogging their entire navy, apparently. We just dogged that entire navy. Their entire navy shows up, and we just go. <laughs> and they're like, oh, nope, nope, nope. But sir, we have the numbers advantage. Nope, nope. Get get us the fuck out of here. Get, a, get out of here. We, we gotta go. We gotta go home. <laughs> yeah. Kind of how I figured, though. The whole thing should actually just, um... <laughs> yeah, everybody everybody, take a nice nap after that. We are repairing. They're going to have to repair after that. But they just lost ships they can't afford to lose like that. They, they can't afford that type of losses compared to us. It's not like stupid crazy for them either to handle with. They just can't afford to just do that. Nice. They can't afford to contend with us like that. You're gonna be fucking bothered. Alright. Who's ready?
personally just will have you guys forever guarding that. They're trying to naval invade. Do they know that, like, these waters ain't safe for them anymore? Oh, shit. I forgot the Japanese are still fighting. They invaded. Oh my goodness, they are doing work. They are doing work against the Chinese. Which side are you? Whose side are you on? You, you aren't in the war. Oh, that's really important. Shang Chi just straight up is not in the war. That means they don't have to fight from the mountains. Ooh, you know what that means? That means Japan's gonna be a powerful beast. I need more tanks. Give me more. Feed me more. I don't care about that because I just probably built like 10. I don't know what happened there. I do know that they're gonna be like out of stuff soon. <laughs> Dang, bro. Yeah, they really flipping dogged us with that one battle. enough. Let me see, we have six to four. We'll wait a little bit longer. Most of these should be repaired, though. I don't quite get why they're not. I don't get why this keeps happening, but this should be a thing right there. Yeah, okay. We are winning battles again? Okay, because our submarines just can't be really caught. And then when they do get caught... Crap, bro. The entire fleet came out. They are not happy about that. The entire fleet is coming out for the slightest transgressions now. <laughs> but 
think that destroyer wants to leave. <laughs> destroyer said, no, brother. I'm not trying to deal with all that. We are killing their convoys again. It is happening once more. What? Okay. Which means any convoys they built are now gone. Any and all convoys they built are gone. I love it. They no longer have convoys. They're probably not getting all the oil they need. They're trying to import a lot of oil. But so little of it is actually getting through that it's just it's just not good for them. Look at how much oil they're trying to flip in get in. <laughs> We are starving the British of oil. They would be dogging us with the air right now and just pummeling everything into the ground if they had oil. But they don't have oil, so they're kind of screwed. And I love it. Yeah, we have 90%. What do you have? So what do we need? We need to see just exactly... what they have in their Air Force. We have two infiltrators, right? Actually, first plant. Yeah, we're not doing so great. Pretty historically accurate, if I must say myself. Germany not doing so great. Um, that's not too bad. The actual battle, so... We are... Penetrating straight through their lines, going after whatever we want to go after. We'll invade. We'll invade. That's annoying. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's trash. <laughs> it's trash. It, it's trash compared to what we have. Alright, you know what we can do? Should be 
doing too much for most of these. All right, we're going to be using our brand new flipping medium tank. Nice. The pumps are three. Jeez, please. Oh. Oh, nice. We should not be. Well, we have more convoys than them. Somehow, some way, for some reason. Ooh, they don't have as many naval dockyards in use right now. Yeah, they are flipping, losing convoys in an alarming rate. What the flip? America doesn't have any more convoys. America does not have enough convoys to deal with what is going on right now. I love it. America's convoys just went to, like, zero. That is crazy. They had as many as... Are they replacing the UK's losses? Are they... We're gonna bleed two nations at once because they're dumb and they're trying to... It's gonna be fun. This looks fun. We needed her, damn it. Nice. Personally, All right, now you're gonna start seeing the submarines really do what a submarine is supposed to do. The reason why that is is because snorkel allows a submarine to stay a little water longer. Fudge, I didn't do the thing that it was supposed to do. It's fine. It just means we're not producing any flipping that's fine it means that we still produce these these types of subs will be very useful so what this does is it means that we will lose 10 
it means that we would be literally like invisible compared to even this one. It means we won't be able to see other submarines, but we don't need to see other submarines. We can't attack other submarines yet. I say yet. You're not supposed to. But with this mod, you can. Later on in the game. Just not yet. But this sub will be harder to see compared to the older subs. But they will be, n like, near invisible compared to this level of submarine. They can go further, they can go faster. They're nearly invisible. Both when they're on land, or when they're actually, like, when they got their snorkel up, and when they got their snorkel down. When they got their snorkel down, you're not going to see these things. Now, a smart thing to do would be to produce both types once you can, once you have the industry and stuff for it. That would be the smart thing to do. But now we have invisible subs. And this should be done after the second day. Why? Yo, they already reached Hong Kong. Within a whole year, Japan just went crazy. They're like everywhere at once. It is insane. It is not even funny. So Japan's actually soaking up, I imagine, most of the air battles from the Americas and all of the um, UK's dominions. Speaking of which, hold on, I just remembered something. If you need oil, friends, friends, if you need oil, tell me, let me know. I can fill you with much oil. That did not sound quite right. And I made to replace. Iberia might get invaded. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I like this. There is no such thing as too much trench work. There is only insufficient and barely adequate. I like that. I like this one. So the Navy. I don't get why there's so much on to just that. Yeah, we have enough to do this. Nice. What this means is that our navy should what the flip. 
on. We have a bunch of U-boats ready to deploy. It's good news. And the newer ones, when we cycle, like when we cycle on the new ones, they're not going to be seen. Period. They're not going to be seen. So we don't have to worry about that. Yay. Oh, you're the one that's alive. Okay. Honestly, strike force. Patrol. Patrol. Convoy escort. There you go. And then what you're going to do? Yes, you're going to destroy anything and everything in your path. Philippines capitulated. They're winning. What the flip? I would, if you weren't currently at war with me. You know, that's just kind of a deal breaker. Oh, are you ready? Are you? Yep. Alright, well... Immediately go. That's a few things that just happened at once. Come on, hurry up. Kill them. Oh, shit, that's right. Where is... I can probably stuff a lot in here. Now with this, it should literally just, yeah. All right. That should be enough to get in our flow. Where is, all right. We have 
tanks moving towards it. Go. Nice. Considering that my allies are not helping me that much. They can kind of just go screw themselves. That. Um, go up here and help, please. We need that, like, badly. We need you to win that. This invading Norway should be a pretty micro heavy thing because if you do it wrong, you're going to be paying very harshly for it. So, controlling this whole state is really important. Ostland is going to be like the most important state you're, you have. Your second most important state is going to be Vastlandet. You take these two states, you really don't have to worry about too much. Because the rest is just mountains. Speaking of which... These two. Get your asses up here. Alright, let's see what we can do around here. We have a bunch. That's going to be nice. Three years ahead of time. Not terrible. So I can basically spend a year researching something to get something years ahead of time. That's not too bad. Getting better engines would benefit greatly right now. Jeez Louise. They murdered another one. Well. Take that. We have killed a lot of stuff around here.
And we're just kind of trying to cut off most of their nation. I don't know why that switched to the secret police. I don't really remember doing that. Nice. Well, we are dogging. Let's see, just what do they have left of their navy? Most of it. I'm pretty sure it's like all of it. But we are still dogging them. They might have fewer destroyers. They don't have two million manpower anymore. <laughs> oh, and they definitely don't have enough supplies. Or oil. I might send the armored forces down towards Yugoslavia. Well, that's all that. What?
I'll start building mechanized equipment once I can start putting down more flipping medium tanks. Never mind. Mechanized equipment can be started being built right now. Though personally, I'd prefer more trucks, but. How many cars we have? So, what we're gonna do We're going to save ourselves a bunch of manpower. All right. We're now going to have 